All right, checkerboard, what are you gonna do? Show me your stuff. Very few pieces left on the board for white here. And uh, they're stacking up way more pieces than would normally be in this checkers game here. What is going on with that? Okay. Some kind of kitchen or something over here. What's changed, by the way? Because last time that crib was, like, up in the air. Ooh, there's a note. Who are you even playing with? Oh, you know, a little bit of Foxy, a little bit of insanity, apparently. Foxy insanity? Sure. Why not? What the? It's the safe! The safe is here. What is this even? Chase Smith's safe and lock. What? None of these numbers really match up with the stuff that we had before. I mean, I suppose I could do like 363 three, with it being like a 30, a 60, and a 30. Would that do anything? 30? 60 30 Yay nay No What was the rest? Uh, 853 I believe Am I even turning this the right way? I don't even know 8 Five, three, and the other one was three again, so I guess we spin it all, oop, come on, aw, I think I might have wrecked it there by doing that, come on, seriously? <laughs> it's kind of hard to spin something around when it doesn't want to spin around for you. Three, five, and four. Oh, come on. Bah. Yeah, that's probably not the code, honestly. But there's a safe here. There is definitely a safe here. I wonder if perhaps there's a code somewhere in this room. I don't know, but there certainly is a lot of floating checker pieces. I don't want to leave this room until we figure out if there's a code somewhere around here. Now that we know there's a safe. Don't really see any codes. And the stairs have now broken, so good luck to us ever getting up there. Some drawing on the floor, but that doesn't seem to be anything. Hmm. Let's see, this is where the safe is, yeah? It's like... You have to go through here, in this squeaky little corner? Alright. Someone put back together the uh, Mario round. Boink. Let's knock that checker piece away. Let me guess if I pick that up, it's going to change the weight scale. And <laughs> there's a house in the uh, big old witch's pot over here. But I'm guessing if uh, that changes the weight scale, something's going to happen. I don't know if it's something I want to happen or not. Wait, what is that? 219. No, 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 no. That's, uh, 21 grams is what that is. Probably something I need to switch 
with this uh, checker piece. And now we've got pictures of people in the oven. Is that the is that the only thing that I need to switch with that checker piece? Or is there more? Could this have something to do with the code? There's a lot of numbers on there. I don't think so though. Can I go over here? There is a painting of... Looks like the guy just sitting there half naked. Contemplating how screwed up his life is. Can I open this? Yeah, I can, but I don't think I can see if there's anything actually inside of that drawer. Even if I try real hard. Yeah, I can't really get back there. All right, well, wait, can I open these? Yes, I can. More paintings up here. Okay, let's see what happens with this. Let's spun it around to 21. Wow, the pieces are sure stacked against us, huh? Sure getting up high there. Please don't take me out of this room until I figure out what to do with that, uh, that chest. There's like black goo on this. So yeah, it, it, the black pieces must be, uh, the disease winning out. And there's very little, uh, of our normal brain left, basically, is what's going on here. And now the, uh, the deer has been framed and is going through a mirror. Nice. Real nice. Can we still get to the safe? Yes. Okay, so there has been a change each time we've done something. Is there a change over here? There's a number on there now. Zero nine two? 042? It's either 092 or 042. Is that the code for this safe over here? What are we on right now? We're on zero again. So, zero. Four. Two. Ooh, it worked opening. Ha! <laughs> what a reference. A spinning top that's never going to stop. So, um, yeah, if you haven't seen Inception, this is a reference to Inception here. The basic idea is when you're in a dream world, the top will never stop spinning because it's a dream. It can, can continue forevermore. And obviously that top is continuing forevermore over there. I wonder if the safe earlier on was also 042 and if it would be the same thing in there or if it would be something different. Interesting. Very interesting. I guess we can also see 042 kind of through here, in a way. All right, and Babyface looks like he's what opened up next. Nice, there's uh, apples just skewered on the uh, antlers of this buck now, which is also covered in black. baby face okay what what was that about just that it changed the picture to look like something else uh, 
Okay, someone's playing piano. I kind of like the piano. It's atmospheric. Can I get back out? Okay. Apparently didn't lead me anywhere anyway. Are we just supposed to go towards the piano right now? Because it doesn't look like I can go anywhere else in here. The desk is in our way and I am not allowed to go down this way, apparently. Let's go find the source of the piano. Piano? Now you sound like you're behind me. Well, at least you sound better than the, uh, crazy... Whoa! Now there's one white piece left and two black. Huh. As if... Maybe that means one person's left alive and two are dead? Ooh. This painting has sure taken over along with what looks like hearts. I think we have just found our way back. There's no message up there this time. This book's still here. There's still nothing inside of it. There's something we're missing for that book. It's quite obvious to me that we're missing something there. I just don't know what it is. All right, let's see what our letter says. Oh, wow, it's uh, very filled out now. I used to hate you. Not anymore. I think even now, in spite of everything, I still might love you. You see, I finally understand. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. It took me a while. But I finally realized, even with us, you have always been alone. I recognize that now as the quintessential part of your being. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. If only for yourself. Okay. Let's finish it. It's me. Yes. That's it. Now I see it. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other way. And it was all worth it. Perfection. Immortality. I wonder if the painting will be different depending on if you find something else. There's something flashing there, as if there was something that I could get there. There's like pictures of his wife everywhere, but only one picture of him. Seems to be in some kind of gallery. That was the end, huh? No real explanation. 
So everything that I've guessed at this entire way, that looks like a person in the fear, the F there, but everything I've guessed this entire way, it's not really revealed. And you know what? In some ways, I kind of like that it's left off that way for you to fill in the blanks. I have a feeling that there's many different ways that we could go about this and possibly get different endings possibly see something else. I mean, we didn't really figure out anything with that Ouija board except for Ghost Goes to Know. Uh, I have no idea. I have no freaking idea what you would do with that Ouija board. We also didn't open the other safe. I don't know if it's considered the same safe as the one that uh, we saw back uh, towards the middle of the game. Or if it's a different safe. I have no idea whatsoever. It could be different. It could be the same thing. No idea at all. By the way, that PR marketing guy right there, that Tom guy, he's the guy who uh, sent this game to me. Awesome dude. Thank you, Tom. But, um, yeah, this was really good. I, I really did like it. And I suppose it kind of got under my skin a little bit mainly because it's a little bit personal at the same time uh, as being very impersonal because it's obviously not what's going on with me, but at the same time, there's some kind of personal levels there. And then, of course, there was the creepy-ass dolls. Dolls and mannequins kind of get to me, especially if they're done the right way. I mean, you can just put dolls and mannequins all over the place, but if you don't do it the right way, then it's not going to get to me at all. It, it really all depends on how you do it. This one was done really good. I did enjoy this, though. This was a very, very, very good game. Um, for atmosphere alone, I would have to give this a 9.5 out of 10. And I think this game thrives on atmosphere and revealing a story that you get to fill in the blanks yourself. That's That's the whole point of this game, and I like that. I like that it's atmospheric and story-driven, even though it doesn't really give you the ending to your story. Now we can, we can go over thinking whether or not this guy is a murderer, if his wife is actually him, if he really had a kid. There's, there's so many things to think about here. And I really, really like that. Don't look back, huh? Can we actually move during the credits? No, we've just got the cursor moving around. That would be interesting if it uh, let you look back in the uh, credits here. Oh, don't look over your shoulder. You're going to be scared at the end of this. Oh, shit. There's something behind me. Now, the only thing that's behind me is a Renaissance Festival costume that my wife made. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, this was good. I really did like this. I don't think I'm going to do this another time. Although I would like to discover more of this because I'm pretty sure we didn't find everything. There's probably more. But I think it's best if I don't do this again on camera because this is something that you all can discover for yourselves while I'm going to discover it for myself somewhere else. So I hope you have enjoyed this Let's Play. I know I really have. This has been a very unique and beautiful game and a wonderful experience. And I really do hope that there is going to be more like this in the future. It was very good. Anyway, bye for now. And this music is really lovely. It really is. I'll see you all in the uh, next Let's Play.